On the south side of the Arctic live a girl named Paula. She say where it's cold. Say she like it cold. So cold her tits might freeze and cut glass. If there was glass in the Arctic, she cut it with her nipples. For real. She got a lonely heart. People say it stretched over 500 miles of ice. She like ice though, but not on her heart. You ain't listening, right? Pay attention. There be a difference in the cold ice she rack her paws on. Be a difference in the ice holding tight her heart. A difference, you hear? She rocked the freshest fur though. She like a puffy and mace video with bright lights and backup dance with booty shorts. Full white, she rock it white and white. When the ice turns slush and mud, she be pissed, be like, damn. That's some bullshit. People say she thinking about moving to Chicago. Say it's cold in Chi-Town. She said it might feel like home used to before she knew what summer was. Paula met someone. He brown. <laughs> so brown, she think he chocolate. Think he tastes good. Tastes better than the slush messing up her white, white fur. They call him Grizzly. Say his growl and his bite be like a Brooklyn chick with the nails just done. And Grizzly, he walk around like he 10 feet and all, but he ain't. He only eight feet or so. Still, Pola in love, she be like, he usually sleep on them other heifers, but he stay awake in the cold for me. He love me. Look at all this fish and shit. She said, ain't no one ever fed me squirrel before. And I know Grizzly be telling her sweet things when we ain't looking. But when Pola got company, she tried to act tough like she running things with her white, white self. Like we don't know how it feel to have a heart melt like glaciers. Still, Grizzly, he don't take no mess and he be testing her icy cool. And Pola act like she ain't gonna move until he growl her name all demanding like a bear. They named their son Growler and their daughter Pisley. <laughs> Folks around these parts call him trouble. Blame them for the seals being gone, for the sun staying too long. Say they Jesus told them to say that shit. Pola said they could float theyself up yonder, but not before they kissed her furry white ass. She said that's a compliment, considering her ass is nice and firm after two cubs. Still, ain't nobody paying Pola no mind. Not since they beat Grizzly senseless. They thump his brown eyes black and lump him up real good with their baton that says because of all the growling he do, all the tall talking he do. Told him that white white got him twisted, so they put him in his place. Now he don't argue and they say his youngins need not be here at all. Ignorant folks call him half-breed. Politically correct bastards call him mixed. I say they ain't no freak of nature. They just what happens when love go outside itself and burst into the world unexpected.